When given the opportunity to sit down in the relaxed comfort of Carmen Policy's sprawling Napa Valley residence, which on this particular morning is enhanced with the muffled exuberance of his three-and-a-half-year-old grandson in the background, it is difficult to comprehend that he is the hard-charging NFL executive and tough guy, defending counsel, we've all been privy to in the print media. He and Gail, his wife of 20 years, share a transparent demeanor and a casual elegance that has allowed the transition into their Napa Valley lifestyle appear to be without challenge. His early association with Eddie DiBartolo Sr., whom he refers to as Old World Nobility, placed him in the queue for making history. If you want to talk about being in the right place at the right time, with the right people, there I was. Eddie owned the 49ers, and he assigned to me as my first official duty with the 49ers the responsibility of negotiating and completing Bill Walsh's first contract. From that point forward, it was all show business, and it was all just one amazing, exciting, and wonderful experience after another. He and his family are currently reaping the benefits of his life's harvest, along with those of their relatively young Napa Valley vineyard, Casa Piana, which he purchased and developed with his team in 2003. He has settled into the fourth quadrant, but certainly not the last chapter of his life, comfortably sipping a glass of his Casa Piana Cabernet. Casa Piana means full house in Italian. Policy has three sons and two daughters. One might say Carmen Policy is very kindred to his Casa Piana Cabernet. Complex, but subtle. Fabulous when it opens up, and definitely better with age. <laughs>